when God has given you a gift, when God has given you something, you cannot doubt what God has given you based on other people's opinion on why you must have gotten it. Um, I don't believe God makes those type of mistakes. He does not make those types of mistakes. And I honor God's opportunities and gifts to me. I honor them as fully as I possibly can. Whether it be an audition, whether it be the actual job, a meeting, I try and give it my best because God would never give me a gift that was not meant for me. And when people take away from you, God will continue blessing you and you will continue on your course and continue heading towards the destination um, and, and the final place you are supposed to reach. That's God's plan. And God's plan, no human can, can, can mess with that. Nobody can mess with God's plan for you. Whether they think you don't deserve it or whether you actually don't deserve it, you are available for it and God has chosen you for that. Now, I can understand why I'm doubted. I can understand that people don't like one, two, three about me. And I can really respect that as well. However, I must honor God. Because what happens between the day I am born and the day I die is me keeping my promise to God. I'm keeping my promise to God to make the most of the life he has given me, to make the most of every day and every opportunity he has given me. And I cannot dishonor that because of what people feel about me or what they think about me or what is lost from me. I continue, I stay on course, I continue to believe, I continue to appreciate and have gratitude for what I have been given. My health, the money that I have, my home, my children, my pets, everything that is with me is from God. And for me to doubt that because of naysayers or even because of my self-doubt is a betrayal to God. I will not betray God because of the distractions, the noise. I will not do that. Even if I myself want to doubt myself, I have made a promise to God. The fact that I'm here, my legs work, my arms work, my fingers are working, my brain is working, hopefully at its optimum. Um, God has provided for me. When God provides for you, keeps you healthy, keeps you sane, um, keeps you safe, what is your excuse? Yes, my past is also tricky. Yes, I'm misunderstood. Yes, I make mistakes. Yes, I will say some dumb shit sometimes. Yes, I will fuck up. Yes, I am not perfect. But God brought me, even me, here for a reason. And he has given this to me for a reason. The fact that God has put me in this place. The fact that Queen Sono got cancelled. The fact that Queen Sono got cancelled. But God said, ah, forget you're inside here now. I said, wow, I'm actually going to get emotional. But I just thought, wow, like, wow. Nothing is wasted. The fact that I'm choosing to continue. Guys, if at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off, try again. Why? Because all things work together for good. For those love the Lord guys people are gonna take things away from you people are gonna bash you when you become successful people will throw stones and you throw stones forward so I am ahead if you throw stones at me I'm ahead of you I'm gonna try and make better choices I'm gonna try and be a better person but as long as God is with me as long as there is a table set up for me we will all eat here together because I can't eat all this food by myself even if you spit it out this table that God has prepared for me I will share it but throw stones at me I'm ahead try and pull me down I am at the top 
How do you pull somebody who's below you down? No. When people try and pull you down, it means they're looking up. Never look down on people unless you are helping them up. And I needed to remind myself of this very recently. When people make you uncomfortable, it's a test of character. And sometimes you'll fall out of line with your character, but always find your way back to who you really are. Don't be shaken, okay? You're not a martini, don't be stirred. Remain strong, hold on to the word, hold on to who you are, because that is truly all you will ever have when all is said and done. You have you. Can you sleep at night? Do you look in the mirror and appreciate who you are? Learn to appreciate and understand the things that you don't have, the things that you lose are sometimes the blessing in themselves. I just am in awe. I'm in absolute awe. I have a new show announced the same week as the show that was announced last year. Same timing, same, exactly 365 days later, almost. My new kid, like, you forget, I haven't forgotten about Queen Sono, but I've let go of what I've lost and I've accepted what God has given me today. And today is all I've got. What happened yesterday and what I hope happens tomorrow is not up to me. I can only but prepare myself for tomorrow. I can only but try and be ready for tomorrow. But today is what you have got. Don't be apologetic about what you have got. Even if you have every reason to be apologetic. I feel shit that there are people out there who are not getting opportunities because of how they look, how they sound, or whatever prejudices that exist out there. And that I may have benefits. I don't feel great about that, but I will not bow down to anyone but the God who presents me what I have. And I will do the best that I can day in and day out to honor that not for myself only not for my children not for the legacy i want to leave but for the god who provides for me god will never give you someone else's gift i'll repeat that god will never give you someone else's gift just as much as he will not give your gift to someone else that means when you want something but you don't get it don't be jealous don't have envy let it go and be happy for the person who received it because it was never yours it was always someone else's and that might be a sign that you need to continue preparing yourself for your opportunity. You need to continue preparing yourself for your moment. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Get ready. Every chance you get, get ready. When there's nothing for you to do, find something to do and get ready. I used to play fight with boys as a child. I didn't know I was training to do action movies from back then. Honor what you love. Honor what makes you happy. Honor what blesses your spirit. Honor that. And one day, God will show you what he was preparing you for. God will always show himself when you least expect it. I wasn't even thinking about this week being the week Queen Sono was announced. I wasn't. Because I was focused on where I am today. But I backtracked. I said, you yeah, I need to show some gratitude. Because this would have been a difficult week. I would have been like, oh man. If you don't get something or if you lose something, move on. Let it go. It was time for you to move on or it was time or, or that thing never belonged to you in the first, that job that you wanted so bad. It wasn't you. Even the job I auditioned for today, I have to be happy for the who gets it, even if it's not me. Woo! That's tough. But when you practice and you meditate and you are thankful for what you do have, there's a lot of problems you could have. Be grateful that you don't have them. And sometimes something that looked like the biggest gift 
might have brought you a great curse. But all things work together for good for those who love the Lord. Thank you so much again for joining me. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Continue honoring your purpose. Honor your destiny. Keep your head up. Don't look down on people unless you're helping them up. 